So Michael Patrick, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, let's start by asking what would be three key tips that uh, when segmenting your CRM for guest data that a hotel should consider? Well, I, I, I would say have them be actionable for one thing. And uh, what does that mean? Keeping your end in mind. Uh, what are you doing CRM for? Uh, and here, f therefore, number one would be uh, to think across the guest journey and what are the actions that you want to achieve across the guest journey um, and not just focus solely on acquisition, Let's focus also on generating loyalty and generating repurchase therefore, generate on maximizing your, uh, your basket, so um, think upsells, think cross-sell. Um, and what does that mean for the data? You can't just uh, think about stay history, you have to address profile, um, uh, we try to get data, obviously it's all as good as your data are, that help us uh, get a better product, uh, idea of what the guests' what motivations are, what their preferences are. Um, currently the best way to get around that is uh, like-mindedness or uh, decisions by analogy. So that would be the things we would be trying to look at. Now when it comes to building an actual hotel brand based on the experience that you've had with Ruby, what would be three key tips that you would offer as well? Brand starts with target group. Uh, so and the English like to say you can't be all things to all people. Um, I think that's exactly right. So uh, don't just think about who you want to address, but also think about um, what you're explicitly excluding. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you not as a brand? What don't you stand for? Uh, think therefore in terms of personality, to me a brand is more like a person. So it's, as soon as you can envision your brand, as a person, the way the way it would speak, the way um, it would find friends and keep friends, because that's essentially what the brand should be doing. Um, what ways would it be taking? Uh, what, what paths would it take? Um, so clearly have your audience in mind and who it isn't, um, clearly have your message in mind, your tonality. I would go as far as to say there has to be some sort of strategy how you want to find a fan base. Um, reach for the stars and you might climb the mountain, um, as, as people usually say. So the higher you aim, the, far, the further it goes. What would be three key tips to maximize direct bookings as well for hotels? I'd say Go for definitely in enriching your experience for guests on site, make it as sticky as possible because the chances are better to uh, get return customers than uh, actually driving direct bookings on, on the first occasion. Um, I think that is a very ambitious target, requires a lot of dollars. Um, I mean, you can be ingeniously uh, ingenious about it, but uh, we always go for um, getting the second and third booking uh, across our direct channels. And I think that starts with building personal rapport where we have a real opportunity is while guests are on site. So think about the experience on site. Second one, I would say make it as easy as possible to come back to you. So familiarize your guests ideally with your booking channels while they're on site um, and show them how easy it is. Uh, third, um, mobile. Uh, nowadays, most people research on mobile, but uh, our conversion ratio shows if you, uh, rates for most of our uh, competitors, I'd, uh, I would say, are still far inferior to the booking on uh, a PC. If you could generate just, if you just close that gap, you'll already increase your direct booking quota significantly. Right. So it's about user experience. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, Thanks. very much. Great Thank to you. have you on the show. Yeah. Thank you.